Berlin-based loudspeaker manufacturer once bought the streaming expert Raumfeld. From then on they came with countless streaming speakers. The Stereo M2 shows where that can lead to. Stereo dual concentric streaming active speakers. We all know the popular plastic streaming speakers that, using hefty DSP, create a sound image that makes me think of fast food. The average human likes food that contains loads of sugar, salt and fat. Think french fries and hamburgers. Offer easy access to these restaurants and you have a winner business model at the expense of common health. For sound the major public likes sweet mid-range, over brilliant highs and fat mid lows and easy access to the music using a smartphone. Here lies the success of the fast food restaurants and popular plastic streaming speakers. The advantages are clear. The comfort food is prepared almost instantly, is easy to the palate and can be ordered from your car. The comfort sound comes from speakers that apparently have no placement problems, comes from almost free streaming services and is easily chosen from a smartphone. Therefore several loudspeaker manufacturers have their comfort sound loudspeakers. And understandably so. The TOEFL speakers on review here don't fall in this category. They have no plastic cabinet, are larger, have a dual concentric setup for the tweeter and mid-range driver and they are not tuned to sound fat, sweet and salty. They are tuned to sound neutral yet powerful and in contrast to quality food they cost less than a stereo pair of larger plastic speakers. The pair of M2s has one master and one slave speaker. The master speaker contains the streaming electronics and the amps for that speaker. The slave speaker contains the same amps and provisions to connect to the master speaker over either a Toslink optical cable or wireless connection. There are many ways to play music. The M2s are not locked into a proprietary system. You could for instance connect your smartphone or tablet to the M2s using Chromecast. The music can be stored on your device or can be streamed from a streaming service or internet radio using Wi-Fi between your device and the router. Depending on your smartphone or tablet you could alternatively use Apple's AirPlay 2 or at the expense of some sound quality use Bluetooth for the connection to the speakers. Alternatively you can use a streamer connected to your router over either Wi-Fi or cable and connect it to the master speakers over Chromecast, AirPlay or Bluetooth depending on the streamer's features. Alternatively a fixed digital connection over Toslink optical cable can be used. Analog is also possible over a pair of RCA cables. If you want to TV sound play over the M2s you connect it using either Toslink or analog RCAs. In all these cases the master speaker sends the other channel to the slave speaker over either wireless or optical. Input selection, volume and other controls are on the master speaker and in the TOEFL app that can be downloaded for free from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. The M2s are available in white or black. The grill is mounted using magnets and can easily be removed to show the three-way driver setup. The 25 mm woven textile tweeters are mounted coaxially inside the 152 mm aluminium mid-toners. The 165 mm Kevlar woofers are mounted in a base reflex cabinet. The cabinet of both master and slave have identical measures. 210 by 432 by 268 mm. The master speaker weighs 10.1 kg, the slave 0.2 kg less. The controls are on top of the master speaker. The active input is shown here. If Wi-Fi is active there is a signal strength indicator left of it. This touch sensitive icon lets you switch between the inputs next with the icon to activate the Bluetooth function. Then there are buttons for skip back, play pause and skip forward. The volume is set by moving your finger on this touch sensitive wheel. 
The volume level setting is indicated by these LEDs. And then there are three presets that allow you to start for instance internet radio stations. The rear of both speakers is identical save the plate amp that has more inputs and controls on the master speaker. The size of the metal plates is identical though. Along the top we see the port for the bass reflex system. The metal plate has two mounting holes to mount a stand or wall mount to. When we zoom in we see a button to activate speaker pairing, enabling a wireless connection between the master and the slave speaker. Behind this small hole the reset button that can be operated using a pin of sorts. The next button activates the Wi-Fi setup. The app gives the appropriate instructions. Then the analog inputs for RCA. The digital input on Toslink. The digital output to the slave speaker again on Toslink for if you don't want to use the wireless connection between master and slave. The network cable that can be used alternatively to Wi-Fi is connected here. A USB-C connector is for updates only and the mains inlet completes the tour of the master's back. On the slave speaker we see the same mains inlet, the input for the optical connection to the master, a USB-C for updates and a button that activates speaker pairing on this side. After unscrewing the back plate it was clear that further disassembly was no option. The wires between the drivers and the circuit board were short and the connectors were glued on the chassis connectors. All to prevent rattling and loose contacts of course. Streaming is handled by the well known Stream Unlimited Stream 1955 that according to Teufel has 4 gigabit RAM and 2 GB of flash memory, which means that it's a lighter version than the standard Stream 1955. It also doesn't do DLA. Instead it does Chromecast and also AirPlay 2 using an external Apple MFI authenticator chip. Perhaps that's why I couldn't get room working over AirPlay. It worked perfectly with Chromecast though, while playing music from my iPhone went fine. By the way, both protocols support sampling rates up to 48 kHz. Per loudspeaker there are three Texas Instruments TPA3220 Class D amplifiers, one for each chassis and totaling up to 100 watts per speaker. Teufel specifies a maximum sound pressure level of 109 dB at 1 meter. I presume that's A weighted, meaning they can play rather loud. To get the M2s to work you need to install the Teufel Home app. To do this use the QR code in the manual. Teufel has several apps and you need the home version. Then follow the instructions in the app. At the beginning of this video I showed how music from the streamer app on your smartphone or tablet can be played over Chromecast, AirPlay or Bluetooth after selecting the corresponding settings in the app or on top of the master speaker. Bluetooth of course has a somewhat lower sound quality. You then simply start the music app and select the stereo M2 as output. Sources that output line level analog audio like a streamer, tuner or turntable with built in RIAA preamp can be connected just like sources that output digital audio over Toslink Optical. In the app you can compensate for placement and adjust balance, set automatic standby, LED brightness and other features. The app has TuneIn Radio integrated, all other music apps have to be started separately. I listen to the M2s in the studio where my setup 2 and 3 normally live. They were placed on target stands from the 80s with stack audio over 50 isolators. The switch was the Upton Audio Ether Regen with Upton Audio Ultra Caps 1.2 power supply. A Synology DS119J with 8TB of storage was running Minim Server as DLA Server. I used the Tidal and Cobus app on my iPhone 11 and connected it to the M2s over Chromecast. I also used the Glider app to stream from the DLA server, Minim server. 
I then connected the Volumio Motivo streamer to the master speaker over RCA cables. The connection to the network now was over CAT6 patch cable to the ETH region switch. Music came from the Synology NAS, Cobus and Tidal. Differences between sources are neglectable and the sound quality is very good for this price category. This certainly isn't a fast food speaker set. It's the waste to use these speakers with MP3 files for there is much more sound quality in it. It can play MP3 of course as it does internet radio through TuneIn Radio. But only when you play lossless tracks you will hear the fine stereo image with for this class impressive focusing and placement. The lows go deep and don't have the mid lows boost of the average plastic streaming speaker. The mids sound rather clean while sibilance is well controlled. The highs stay slightly behind in comparison to the mids and lows but are still good for its class. I rated halfway my setup 3. Teufel makes a wide range of speakers, streamers and streaming speakers. From Bob the Builder ghetto blasters, party speakers and soundbars but also speakers for the music lover with limited budget and a desire for sound quality and musicality. Teufel sells direct cutting out the middleman, offer an 8 week return policy and free shipping if you decide not to keep the product. But they only sell within the EU. The stereo M2 active speakers cost 900 euros per set including VAT, which is a great price for a bistro quality stereo setup to stick to the restaurant metaphor. Which brings me to the end of this video. Next week at Friday 5 pm Central European time there will be a new video again. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on Patreon, Facebook, LinkedIn or Instagram so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video on the social media. It's much appreciated. Always check the description below this video on YouTube to see if there are additions or corrections on this video. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you next week. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.